Hey, Wayne here, and today I am riding the G-Force RS. Thanks to G-Force for sending this out for review. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh, I knew it was gonna happen. So today I'm riding the G-Force RS, which is a step over version of this bike. They also have a step through, which is the G-Force RS ST. So if you want a step through model, check that out. Links are down below. It's a pretty rugged looking e-bike with uh, front forks, suspension in the front. You got the two rear springs in the back and two more shock absorbers a little closer up. Um, I'm gonna go over all that later. The G-Force website says that this version, the RS, can handle riders from 5.7 to 6.3, while the RSST can handle riders from 5.3 to 6.3. So if you're a little shorter, the RSST might be the one for you. I'm 5.7 and this bike fits me well. So the model I'm riding, which is the RS, I got it with a 25 amp hour battery and it weighs 97.7 pounds i'm going to recheck that later on the scale but that's according to the website there's different uh, batteries for this bike i'm going to post that up on the screen so that you can check it out and get the one that's uh, right for you also keep in mind that the mileage that you get is going to vary depending on payload type of terrain you're on just you know things like that if you add anything to the rear rack so the more weight you put on it if you just throttle only all the time it's going to be different so make sure you check all that out and be aware of payload that it's going to vary in your mileage for power it has a 750 watt motor which peaks at 1300 watts. It's a cadence sensor bike. I usually like torque, but this bike cadence is fine. You're gonna get to top speed each uh, mode that you're in. I'll probably go over that in a minute, but I wanted to also say that if you throttle only, it will get you up to the max speed of 28 miles per hour. I'd like to mention that this bike has 85 Newton meters of torque which is pretty good, but they've programmed this bike to kind of give you a slow start. So it's not the fastest off the line, but um, once you get up to speed, it'll get up there to about 28 miles per hour. So, but 85 Newton meters of torque is gonna handle most of your average hills on the street that you need to climb. If you go off road and it's a bit steeper, you might have some problems getting up those, but for your average hills, it's gonna do just fine. A lot of bikes come with either a thumb throttle or a half twist throttle. This one has a half twist throttle. And for this bike, it feels right. So I don't usually have a preference, but I like this half twist throttle on this bike. For tires, we have good all around tires. Uh, 20 inch by four inch fat tires, which is gonna do well on the street. And if you do a little off-roading. The max load or payload for this bike and the RSST, so both the RS and RSST can handle a max payload of 400 pounds. The rear rack can, itself can handle 100 pounds. And that rack is actually integrated into the frame of this bike, as you can see from here. Um, and that just gives it a lot more strength. This bike is as easy to put together as any other e-bike. All you have to do is put the handlebars on, the front tire, the light, the fender, the pedals, and the seat. Everything else was pretty much done. If you wanna see how to assemble this bike, I'm gonna to link to G-Force's assembly video. Link again will be down below. This bike has five power assist modes. It's a cadence sensor bike, so when you're riding it and you're pedaling, whatever the highest speed is for each pedal assist that's what you'll reach now if you just go throttle throttle only or throttle pedal doesn't matter but if you include the throttle it's going to instantly just go right up to 
the max speed of this bike which is 28 miles per hour so in mode one looks like about nine and a half miles is as fast as you're gonna go with pedaling mode two will get you up to about 13 miles per hour mode three will assist you up to about 16 and a half miles per hour mode four that gets you up to about 26 miles per hour and then mode five gets you all the way up there to 28 miles per hour actually I got to 29 and a half I'm gonna leave it on mode five I'm gonna try this strip here and see how fast it actually goes before I have to stop 19 20 22 23 25 26 27 28 29 30 Ah, about 30 miles per hour. So G-Force has a modified version of what most bikes call full suspension. They have, of course, the front, a front fork, which is adjustable. You can lock that out. Then you've got four, uh, four shocks on the back. You got two springs and two shock absorbers. So it works really good. So far, my ride has been nice and smooth. And uh, I went off road with it a little bit. And again, it felt really good. So they call it magic suspension and it does seem to do the trick. So I think they're onto something with the six points of suspension on this bike. Yeah, so if you're looking for a comfortable ride, this bike is pretty darn comfortable with this type of suspension. So in addition to the five pedal assist modes, you also get a Shimano seven speed system with your shifter, derailleur, and cassette. So if you run out of power, you can ride it just like a regular bike. The brakes are hydraulic disc brakes. You got a 180 millimeter disc in the front which is a little thicker than average and you've got 160 millimeter in the rear so I'm gonna go ahead and do a not so scientific brake test but I'm gonna check out the brakes right now going about 26 miles an hour pretty good it did it did stop fairly well I let off a little bit in the end and then I grabbed them again um, but overall they felt good so this e-bike has a front headlight with four LEDs in it which is really cool looks really good and in addition it has an integrated brake light so you don't have to worry about turning that one on and off separately like a lot of bikes they come with separate lights that you have to manually turn on and off in the back this one's integrated and whether the headlight is on or off when you pull the brake lever the brake light will come on so that's really cool and another plus and here's a picture of the bike at night. It has an IP65 rating. The I stands for dust. It'll keep dust out of the, all the important parts of the bike, along with the six being for water, meaning that it can handle like normal jets hitting it. Um, it can handle some light rain. I wouldn't go off and ride in the rain, but if you had to, this bike can do it. When I wash my e-bikes, I don't normally use a hose on it. I use, I think it's called Muck Off. I'm gonna have a link to that down below as well. Uh, what I use to clean my bikes, it's a dry wash. You just spray it either on the bike or on a towel and wipe the bike off. It works great. 
I've been using it for years and I love the stuff. So this bike can handle light gravel very well. So some light off-roading should be fine. This is like sand, gravel, and it, yeah, these four inch wide fat tires are just fine for this kind of terrain. So the one thing I would say that makes this bike stand out is really that magic suspension. It feels incredibly smooth, even on terrain like this. Street riding is good. Some off-road riding is good. Light off-road. So to sum this up, the GeForce RS and RSST bikes are slightly different than other e-bikes that cost the same price, about $1,299. The high speed claims 28. I got to 30. So it has a lot of power. It comes with hydraulic disc brakes, but this GeForce suspension system, although I'm sure it's not the best in the world it works really good on this bike so for what it's worth this bike with this suspension system works great it's a great handling bike not the fastest off the line but will match up with other bikes that hit 28 miles an hour and even go faster hitting 30. plus with these fat tires this bike is going to be good if you're, say your commute takes you on pavement and you have to go over some rough terrain for a little while, this bike is going to be able to handle it. You're not going to have to worry about that. So a lot of, a lot of good things with this bike. So if the GeForce RS or RSST is something you're looking for, you want a good all around street, gravel, off-road, light off-road bike, this might be the one for you. It's priced right. Check out my links below. They don't cost you anything extra to use and sometimes they have discounts attached to them or I'll have a coupon code next to it that you can use on checkout. Go grab yourself one, get out there and ride, and I'll see you on the next one.